Salute to everybody. Now, Michael Blackston responds to Cat Williams as it seems as though these two guys have beef. Now, first off, you guys coming in, hit the subscribe button if you guys have it. Don't forget to hit the like button. We're going to dig into the full story of Michael Blackston and Cat Williams. Now, this stem back further than you guys probably understand. If you guys think back probably about seven months ago, uh, Michael Blackston made a, a tweet that said, I don't mean to start no sheet. He said, but I heard that uh, Martin Luther King had a white chick. Is it true? I'm just a bitch-ass nigga from my little village, so please let me know. Cat Williams came back and responded to that and said, that's a coon question. Now, from there, it seems as though these guys have been having a little bit of tension. I'm going to dig back a little bit further. You know, these guys had some movies together, some roles. But it seems as though Cat Williams never cared for Michael Blackson. Now, Michael Blackson said that Cat Williams was getting personal on Wild and Out. He felt like this this stemmed back from uh, the Drink Champs interview where he had some things to say about Cat Williams. Um, he, he came through with some new tweets, and it said something along the lines of this. Life is too short to be beefing, especially with people you love. I love every comedian like a brother. Sometimes we say things about each other, and it comes out the wrong way. But we don't mean no harm. Cat Williams is still mad about something I said on Drink Champs last summer. He followed that by saying, I thought I made a compliment, but most of my compliments come with a little roast because that's what I do. Cat Williams took it as an insult, and I had no idea he was still mad till we met on the tape in a while and out yesterday. None of the cast, including Nick, had no idea we was beefing. He followed that post by saying, we ended up on opposite teams, and all his jokes towards me was insults on my career. While I tried to keep my jokes towards him, his height, uh, his perm, etc., he said, I tried to keep it fun so people won't know we had a problem with each other, but that midget nigga kept hard. Uh, he said, kept going hard. LOL, shaking my head. His last few uh, uh, tweets was, I don't know if they was jokes or he was just trying to, you know, really poke at Cat Williams, but he ended up saying, since you're only four foot nine inches tall, I'm going to be the bigger person to try to squash this. We've known each other for 25 years. We go back to Friday movies, then repos to meet the blacks, not counting a few tours we've done together. He followed up by saying, let me know how you want to handle this, cat. I'm down with a versus on stage, or you can just fight my 15-year-old son. Now, like I said, I, no, I, I think this stems back further than, the, than the, uh, the average person to understand. These guys are two comedians that throw jokes at each other, but sometimes the jokes can get a little bit more personal. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. Share this video. It seems as though Michael Blackston and Cat Williams have a beef or a newfound beef. But like I said, you know, it's been going on for a while because seven months ago, you see that, you know, um, Michael Blackson had some things to say about Martin Luther King. And I believe it was on Martin Luther King Day. And Cat Williams chimed in and said it was a cool question. Like I said, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe right now. Turn your post notifications. I'll catch you all on the next one.